everyone welcome back to my channel today i'm literally gonna pretend to be an mua and <laughs> my makeup skills are atrocious compared to like beauty youtubers i don't know if this is gonna be a good idea it's halloween this weekend obviously we can't really do anything and i don't usually do stuff for halloween anyway but it's my dad's birthday so we're normally like celebrating his birthday so this halloween makeup look I absolutely loved it so I wanted to recreate it and I thought I'd just film it and see how it goes. So this is the makeup look I want to recreate. I'll put it on the screen as well. It's Sunday. So it's just like glam and then she's like stitching across her face and her eyebrow and that. I am going to attempt it. I actually went to a local shopping centre this morning and got some... Oh, I'm going to drop it off. And I got some like eyeliners and that and... <laughs> I went into my shopping centre because in Superdrug they have like drugstore um, makeup brands like super cheap ones like Collection and Revolution and that and that's like all I wanted I just wanted a couple of different coloured eyeliners so I thought let me not drive to Tesco and have to buy it from like L'Oreal I got to the checkout desk and she was like that'll be £42 please and I think I just froze for literally like three seconds I was like my heart dropped I was like did she just say £42? Just like, yeah, that's fine. That's perfect. Thank you. And I'm not even wearing this out. Like, what am I doing? Do you know what? It'll be fun. I also got the contacts. And I never thought I'd put a pair of contacts in. Because I just can't. I'm too squeamish. So that'll be interesting as well. She just has, like, normal glam makeup. So I think I'm just going to do that off camera. Because that's, like, super boring. I'll link a video if you want to see, like, how I do the normal makeup. And then I'll probably just come back when I'm doing the eye and the actual stitching let's see how this goes what kind of girl do you take me for okay so i'm now done like the base layer of the makeup and and now i'm gonna start the smoky eye so it's pretty dark um i'm gonna start off with like a brown eyeshadow and then just build it up because i haven't done a smoky eye in literally forever so i don't want to mess it up i'll probably touch up big I'll probably touch up bits of my makeup at the end as well. To do the smoky eye, I'm going to use the Zoeva Warm Spectrum Palette, Random Z Palette I made, and the Morphe 35W. And I'll probably just like time lapse it. I'm now done my eyes. I think this is how I want them. I didn't do it like as extreme um, and as black because I've got quite small eyes. So I don't know. I don't want to do too much, but like maybe at the end I'll add a bit more. Also, I put so changed my top because like she does like blood dripping right down her neck. So I thought it'd just be easier with like this top. Now on to the actual like stitching and this is about i'm so nervous for i don't think i'm very good at drawing like straight lines and that also i don't know if i want to add like eyeliner um i'll see how it looks at the end see if it needs it i'm going to start with the black lines i don't know whether it's going to be better off using i've got options i've got like when you like dip into the eyeliner it's like a thin brush i've got more like a felt tip pen or i've got a pencil i'm going to test on my hand quickly and see which one i want to use I decided i'm going to use this pencil by revolution it's just in black um because it's actually really creamy it kind of just glides oh i'm so nervous i'm probably not going to speak whilst i'm doing this but i'm going to start with the one on the forehead so it's just like a straight line to just above the eyebrows I can't, I can't, how do I? Oh no. Oh god, is that wonky? Okay, I might be able to neaten it up with like the white and brown either side. For now, that'll do. I think I did it a bit too thick. Just got this white liner from NYX and again, it's like a glidey one. Um, It's like a crayon. I'm just going to go alongside the black. This is so much harder than it looks. Okay. 
that'll do for the white and now i'm going to do like a brown and i'm going to use eyeshadow for this i think i'm just going to use this dark brown um on an eyeshadow brush to do the brown sorry if you can hear that rain it's just started like chucking it down brown is done i actually found that easier than then using the pencils and now i've got to do the little stitches i'm actually just going to try and use black eyeshadow for the stitches because the pens i have seem to be like leaking when i put them on and um, when i've tried them on my hand so i'm just going to use like a really fine angled brush and just like try and do the stitches like that i think i've done them way too long there so stitches done like i think the white and the brown is make make is meant to make them look like more 3d i think i just need to fix the top ones i don't think it looks too bad they're quite thick like i think you're meant to do them a little bit thinner than that but it's hard with eyeshadow to get them thinner next i'm going to try and do the one around the whole face so i just changed the light so it's a little bit less blue i think i want to use the pencils to do this i'm going to start from the jaw and then drag it down after so i'm going to start here and then kind of go up and then like a curve over my nose and then back the symmetry bit is gonna be so hard I'm going to start from like here. Oh my god, that is not symmetrical at all. Okay, I do have okay i'm just trying to fix my foundation i'm just gonna have to have a dodgy bit of face over here we're just not gonna show this side that's just gonna have to do for the black line that was so much harder than i thought it would be now on to the white again i'm just gonna use the same pencil That other white pencil literally just died on me, so I'm gonna have to use this like rough one. I'm not in focus at all. I think I'm pretty much done for the white. And now for the brown again, I'm just gonna use the same brown eyeshadow. My battery is about to die. Sorry, my camera battery just died. So whilst it was charging, I just did the stitches over that. And I think it's coming together now a bit more. So I'm going to do the stitches on the eyebrow. And I have no idea how this is going to go because I don't get how it looks so defined over the eyebrow hairs. I don't know if you can see. I just felt I'm not going to be able to draw it over my eyebrows. I'm going to try it and I'm going to use the black pencil again. Also, I did the stitches with the pencil. Um, I don't know why I didn't think of that in the first place. I'm so dumb sometimes. But I'm going to do it on this eyebrow so you can see. See, look, I don't get how she drew it over the hairs. And now for the blood. This has taken me hours. Oh my gosh, I've been doing this for so long. For the blood, I'm going to use this like NYX liquid liner. It's a little bit brighter than I would want it to be. So she has like a bit dripping down from this stitch in the middle. And then she has some coming down from her forehead. Now a bit dripping from a stitch. And it kind of splits into two. I'm just gonna get you like line my lips and put a bit of colour on them before I do the rest of the blood from the mouth. So I finished the blood off, I just like 
did a bit from my mouth and dripping down my neck um, and i think i'm just gonna add a little bit of black eyeliner like just super subtle um, right by my lash line with the pencil eyeliner done i just like define my lash line a bit more i'm just gonna do my eyebrows a bit more with the gel i'm just gonna add some mascara off camera to make it a little bit more glam i've done mascara now and oh my god i'm so scared i don't know if to do the contact lenses or not i'm really scared what if it makes my eyes water and then like all the makeup just comes off i think i'm gonna sort up my hair i think i might just like wet it do like a wet look i need to take it out of this and see what it looks like and then maybe put some gloss on my lips and then i think i'm pretty much done i don't think i need the white she has like white cracks by her eye but i don't want that to like ruin it if i can't do that properly okay i'm gonna sort on my hair so i just slicked my hair back a little bit i just like wet it it's kind of going fuzzy now but this is the finished look i did a bit of like gloss on my lips um I don't know where to put the contacts in. Maybe I kind of like the dark. From far away, I think it looks better than like up close. Cause it kind of looks just fake up close. Okay, guys, I've decided I'm going to try and put it in. Oh my god, I think I can do it. God, I can't do it. I can't do it. I freaked out last minute with the contact lens. I think, honestly, I think it would look better with without them anyway i don't know they just look really fake them ones oh my god i got too scared i couldn't do it i just don't want to have like a weird reaction i've never done contact lenses before maybe i can color my eyes like on edit or something but this is the finished look thank you so much for watching this video i really hope you enjoyed this little tutorial it's not even a tutorial like i didn't know what i was doing but anyway i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you in my next one bye